was Asher in the Bible? Asher was the eighth son of Jacob, and his name means blessed and happy. Asher's mother was Leah's servant, Zilpah. According to the laws at the time regarding children born of servants, Asher would have been seen as Leah's son rather than Zilpah's. Asher had a total of 11 brothers, including a full brother by Zilpah, two half-brothers from Jacob's other wife, Rachel, two half-brothers from Rachel's servant, Bilhah, and six half-brothers from Leah. He also had a sister named Dinah. Each of Jacob's sons, including Asher, would become the head of one of the 12 tribes of Israel. As God had promised to Asher's great-grandfather, Abraham, he was making Abraham's descendants into a great nation. Genesis chapter 12, verse 22. The Bible does not say much about Asher as an individual. It does, however, describe the jealousy and anger Asher and his brothers had towards their brother Joseph due to Jacob's preferential treatment of him. Genesis chapter 37, verse 3 to 4. This favoritism coupled Joseph's description of the dreams he had in which his brothers were bound down to him caused the brothers to develop an extreme hatred of him. Verses 5 through 11. Asher and his brothers ended up selling Joseph to some merchants, who in return sold him as a slave in Egypt. Verse 28. Joseph has served there for several years, but God raised him to second in command of all Egypt. Genesis chapter 41, verse 39 through 41. As Joseph had interpreted a dream had by the king that warned of seven years of plenty, followed by seven years of great famine. Pharaoh put Joseph in charge of collecting food during the seven good years and storing it for the seven bad years. Verse 48 to 49. When the famine began, Joseph's brothers came to buy food from Egypt, eventually discovering that the man they were dealing with was their brother. They were grieved over what they had done to Joseph. And soon after the reunion, Jacob and the rest of his family were brought to live in Egypt. Just before Jacob died, he blessed each of his sons. The blessing for Asher was as followed. Asher's food will be rich. He'll provide the Lysiases fit for a king. Genesis chapter 49 verse 20. In essence, Jacob was blessing Asher and his descendants with a promise that they would gain good food and riches. Later, Moses also blessed Asher's descendants. Most blessed of sons of Asher, let him be favored by his brothers and let him bathe his feet in oil. The bolts of your gates will be iron and bronze and your strength will equal your days. Deuteronomy chapter 33, verse 24 through 25. Genesis chapter 46, verse 17 notes that Asher had four sons. Imna, Ishva, Ishvi, and Berna, and one daughter named Sarah. His tribe would eventually grow into six clans, and after the exodus of Egypt, was quite large. The Bible says that at one point during the Israelites' journey to Canaan, Asher's tribe had 41,500 fighting men. Numbers chapter 1, verse 41. Asher's tribe inherited land in Canaan along the coast from the city of Sidon in the north of Mount Carmel in the south. True to the blessings that Asher had received, the tribe possessed territory containing some of the richest soil in all of Canaan. Asher produced much grain, wine, oil, and minerals. Asher's descendants endured as God promised Abraham, and his tribe is mentioned often throughout the Bible. One of Asher's descendants, a prophetess named Anna, was blessed to meet the baby Jesus just days after his birth. Luke chapter 2, verse 36. In Revelation chapter 7, verse 1 through 8, the four angels seal the 144,000 virgin Jews from all the tribes of Israel. 12,000 are sealed from each tribe. Asher is one of those that are sealed. 
They are sealed with the seal of protection before the great tribulation. After the great tribulation, Jesus returns with the clouds and the 144,000 are redeemed from the earth and meet Christ on Mount Zion.